Hello YouTube makeup lovers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to be lounge makeup, I really hope that you stick around and subscribe for more videos. So I'm here today with a holiday style type vlog. I'm gonna be sharing a couple of the things that I love to do during the holidays, from the gifts I'm getting, the gifts that I'm receiving, how I like to decorate, what I'm gonna cook, just a little bit of everything. I'm not really sure how this video is going to go, but I definitely wanted to bring you along for the ride. So I hope you enjoy this holiday Christmas vlog. So first I want to show you my Christmas tree. I had the idea of doing white and blue and some clear ornaments. Um, my actual inspiration were my ginger jars, these right here. I thought that they were so cute and I really love the whole blue and white thing. My nativity is from Amazon. It is also blue and white. I thought it was so cute because I was able to find these cute little ginger jar, like mini ginger jar ornaments. These are actually porcelain and some porcelain style ornaments with the blue and white. But basically my dilemma with this tree is that since the day i purchased it it was such a beautiful tree since the day i bought it i filled it up with water it has not drank water at all so it is already drying up you can already see a couple of like the tips are are just dried up and the needles are already falling really easily i wish i would have I should have filmed this from the beginning, but I didn't. Really annoying, I don't know why. I looked it up online and it said that the only way to get it to drink water is basically to cut the a little bit more of the bottom of the, of the actual trunk, but I mean, what am I gonna do? Take off all my ornaments and take it back to the to the Christmas tree place for them to cut the, the trunk a little bit more. So I don't know if maybe it wasn't cut appropriately the first time or if something happened. I read that it's because the sap you know, it doesn't let the water get through. But other than that, I really, really loved the tree. I love the whole blue and white vibe. I also got, you know, wrapping paper that was blue and white. So really, really like that. And then I will share that when I decorate my Christmas table is a uh, blue and white that my mom had given me when we first moved. So this is the first part of my little holiday stuff is my tree. So this is my entryway. I have a very colorful tree. I have my Christmas candle. I think that one is Evergreen by Bath & Body Works. And then I have these two glittery trees right here. Those actually light up at the bottom. You can't really tell right now because the light is on. And these two cute reindeers that I bought a long time ago. I bought these two at, I can't remember. I think it was this store called At Home in Orlando, Florida. That's where I got it. So here's my little entryway so merry christmas eve i just actually finished setting up my table these are my really pretty plates my nice china my mom gave this to me it's called like the blue danube it's very very old so i love it so so much i actually bought these little what are these called i think these are called chargers i ended up getting these at walmart they were such a good price for I believe it was like six. Um, these are some blue glasses that my mom had, which I asked to borrow. I also got the the silverware also at Walmart. I wanted some gold silverware and that is pretty much my setup. These are actually my grandmother's champagne glasses from her wedding day, so I inherited those. My mom gave them to me and these wine glasses are also from Amazon. So I can go ahead and link those items down below. We have some wine for tonight. I also have some champagne that I'm gonna pop open. It's like a really pretty blue color I'll show you now. Um, the table doesn't really have all the food or anything like that yet. I just have a Spanish tortilla there. I made some Spanish tortilla. I actually got like three of them, the batch that I made. So it's still pretty early. I'll be putting all the, the food that's kind of like the little appetizers. I made some, some lobster cocktails, so it's in the fridge cooling off. I boiled it this morning. I made some deviled eggs. Like I said, some Spanish tortilla. That one has um, chorizo and piquillo peppers. I made another one that I added, a chorizo, piquillo peppers, and some prosciutto. So this is the meat that I'm gonna be cooking. This is the full beef tenderloin. So it's basically the filet mignon, but it is the huge piece. Um, it, it has been peeled and I marinated it. I marinated it with a little bit of mustard, salt, pepper, fresh onions, green peppers, red peppers, fresh garlic, 
I do add some Worcestershire sauce, some olive oil, and some red wine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sear it and then I'm gonna put it in the oven so that it cooks um, a little bit more and hopefully get some sort of medium rare, medium type of cooking. And these are the other tortillas. This is the one that I mentioned had the piquillo peppers, the chorizo, and the prosciutto. So here are the deviled eggs. I made some deviled eggs for the family. That's like my grandmother's tradition. So they always ask me to make deviled eggs for all the holidays. Here I have the lobster that I, I boiled this morning and I chopped it off like in medallions. Um, and then here is my little sauce, which everything is in the blue Danube, like, you know, um, china and so is a plate but i have it there in the fridge because that once you cook it i kind of let it cool off once i cut it and then i put it in the fridge to to get a little bit more chilled so this is the champagne i got i totally only got it because it was a beautiful blue color and it matched my tree and my whole blue and white decor and of course i am watching home alone today i'm so excited i felt like watching an old school christmas movie and it just doesn't get better than john hughes Esta es una champán que compré porque era azul. Pero buena, ¿no? Sí, es buena, era buena. Oh. Ready? Wow, esa me la voy a poner en 31. <risa> Esto es una, la mejor. Qué esa bonita. me encantó con los mantelitos. Esa es una finura. Qué bonito. Sí. Carla, Carla, que fue. Oh. Wow, nice. Hey, mira, everything goes kind of like in a professionally wrapped. wrapped. Love all my gifts. Esto no. Pues una caja fuerte. También, sí. Te la tienes que probar. Sí, mañana. Mira este, mami. Entonces vamos a verlo. Vas a ver este, mami. Because he has been wearing that Carmel jacket. Yeah. He does not let it go. A ver. He got his favorite sweater, so we searched high and low. Oh man. Paola found one from her. Es el mismo y lo hemos buscado. Y Paola lo encontró. Es ese, ¿verdad, Paola? Sí, es el mismo. Es mira, mira. Mira, es igualito, es el mismo. Es el mismo, es lo mismo. My sissy got some sneakers from my dad. These are hokas. Ooh, nice. These are so pretty. I love them. And some Brooklyn and sheets. These are nice sheets. Good morning. It is Christmas morning and it is nice and cloudy in Miami and it's like 72 degrees, you know, the usual Christmas weather. Here are my Christmas gifts. The person that gave me this year was my brother. I had to give my mom the gift. So every year we kind of just pick one person and then we just get them really good gifts. I got some La Mer products. My brother gave me this pretty little set that has the soft cream and it has the lip balm. Really cute bag that has blue and purple. Inside it has a small La Mer. This is the soft cream and it also has the lip balm so these are two that i've always loved you cannot go wrong with these i love them it's a nice little splurge of skincare so these are some nike jordans that i had wanted that he knew about i like them because they're a black patent leather 
they have a little bit of a heel i just love having you know sneakers that are kind of cool like this that you can wear in the evening like say i have a concert or say i'm gonna go out and i don't feel like wearing you know heels and just be in comfy sneakers but they have a little bit of a nice you know a nice look to them oh my god i just noticed they have a zipper then i had been wanting to try um jennifer lopez's spritz from the brand Delola. So I got the Bella Berry one. This one has berry and hibiscus. So I wanted to see how these are. You're just supposed to be able to, to pour these, you know, over ice and you're ready good to go. This one has vodka. So really wanted to try this one. From Tom Ford, I got the shade and Illuminate. This is in the 0 0.5 shade. I also love these Citizen Nudiversal Lip Duos. I am such a big fan of these. My favorite color is actually Ibiza, but I wanted to test another one out. This is what the shade looks like, and I love it because it's like a matte lip, and then you have the gloss at the bottom. So, so I'm so excited for my gifts that I got from my Santa, my brother this year. This year I had my mom, I'm the one who gave her the gifts and I'm sure I'll show you some of those when I filmed. And um, oh, he also said that he had got me some Melinda Maria earrings and my sister as well that I had wanted, but that they were pre-order. So we're gonna be getting those in January. So even more gifts to come. I also got some tequila, the Classe Azul tequila. And he knew I loved it because of the bottle and the whole white and blue decor which is kind of like the vibe that i have going on and i always have my blue and white ginger jar so i really wanted this bottle so i am about to have breakfast with the fam but first i wanted to share a couple of other things that i got myself for christmas because you know you always have to get something for yourself and i got some melinda maria jewelry so i was really excited to get some stuff because she was also giving out a free gift so I got these hoops. These are the ones that I had wanted. They were actually like a pre-order, but they arrived here pretty fast. I also got these really pretty, um, you know, dangly earrings, because I always kind of get the hoops from her brand, but I was like, I need to try something a little bit different. I hope they're not too heavy. I'm really sensitive to like heavy earrings, but I thought that these were so, so pretty and cool. This was the free gift that I got with purchase, which I thought was just perfect. They were just smaller type hoops with these little diamondettes. I think that's what they call them, but I'll make sure to put everything down below. I also really like how the bags change. Before the bag were like, the bags had like a little string and now they have like this little button. So I just thought that it was really, really cute how the bags have changed. So that I like. I just really like these the bags for um, just like holding your jewelry or for travel. They're very, very cute. And everything's pretty in purple, which I love that color. I also got some new items from Sephora. This is from Rare Beauty. I finally got the contour stick. This one is in the shade Bright Side, which I thought it was a really nice, perfect tone for contouring, not too warm and not too cool but some sort of neutral color i think it's a little bit more cool tone than the other colors that are available the brand hourglass i also got this foundation brush that i had been wanting to try it's a smaller type of foundation brush but i really like it i feel like this is a brush that i can even use for blending in my concealer and my foundation and just getting into you know the nice little nooks of like your nose from Glow Recipe, I also got these two items. This is the Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist, which I thought was a nice mist to apply on my beauty blender and then just pat on my skin. You can also obviously, you know, just like spray it all over your face, but I kind of don't like to do that all the time, especially with my eyes get so sensitive. I don't want to get everything, you know, anything in my eyes, but I love, you know, misting this on my beauty blender and then putting that beauty blender on my face at the end of my makeup it's really really yummy and it smells really good i also got the smaller size of the watermelon glow pha bha pore tight toner i had gone a sample of this one and i really liked it 
but sometimes I just tend to not use them all up and that kind of annoys me and I feel it's a little bit wasteful and also for travel I do prefer smaller size so I thought this was a really nice size to get 1.35 ounces so I think it's a nice decent size and it's a pretty bottle it's actually a glass bottle but I like it it just seems like very very convenient and then from the ordinary I ended up getting this glycolic acid 7% exfoliating toner I've heard really wonderful things about this I've even heard people they put it on their armpits to prevent their armpits from getting dark so I wanted to try it and the ordinary is not so expensive it's a very affordable price so this is pretty much all the other items that I got. I was super excited trying new skincare and some new makeup. Some of these items I also got with a gift card that I got for Christmas presents. I got the viral Amazon backpack. I got it in this really pretty, it's, it was like blue. It was called blue on the website, but it is a prettier mint green. I had wanted it to be more mint green and I read in the comments that people were saying that it was more mint green than blue. And it truly is, I love it. This one, I will link to it down below, of course, but this one opens up completely like this. You know, you have the big pocket here. Here you would put your power bank and then you could charge your phone from the outside. I thought that was really cool. It has a nice compartment here to add anything that you wanna really keep safe. It has this, this thing right here, which is actually for you to put shoes that you can put them here on the bottom. It has, you know, nice holes here so it's breathable and you don't get anything stinky. It also has a pocket in the front. Actually, two pockets in the front. One and one right here. Here you can add stuff. It seems like this is something that you can even put, like, wet stuff in because it has that material. So that's also really, really nice. It has nice padding in the back. For your back padding here the the straps are also nicely padded nicely adjustable you also has have a laptop compartment right here in the back this is the laptop compartment so very very protected i think a pretty big laptop would fit here this is also you know very very nice and padded and what else it just it's just really pretty of course i have to test it out i'll probably try it out um i have a little road trip coming in january and see how everything is going to fit in here for a three or four day trip so i was excited about this and um i wanted to share it with you guys as well it's a good price for a backpack and it seems like very promising for travel so definitely will give you more information once i actually use it and here you can even compress it a bit with these um, clips on the sides and then you just pull it to make it a little bit more narrow and not so fat but this bag is just so pretty and I love the colors I also have my eye on the base ones <laughs> the base carry-on luggage oh, I'm so torn I don't know which one I want to get but I feel like I want to get something but this is just so pretty and I actually got another gift in the mail today that I bought for myself. Today is the 26th, day after Christmas, and I got something from the brand Sonrev. I am a huge fan of this brand. I have always been. Ended up getting the Aluna bag. This is one of my favorite models. This is the Aluna bag in the chestnut color which is actually one of my favorite colors i already have this one in two other colors just because i love it so much you can wear it as a crossbody you can wear it as a backpack and they were just having a crazy sale and i saw that this one was 150 dollars in this color so i don't know if this model is going to disappear or what's going to happen with this model but this bag is usually over $600 and it was $150. They had a major, major sale. And when I saw that it was available in the chestnut color, I really, really had to buy it. So I got it for myself and I cannot wait to use this bag. So this is what it looks like on the inside. It has a zipper. It has a little pocket here, which got a little bit folded down for some reason. And... Um, has the gold hardware. I like to use it the most as a crossbody. So very excited and I love this pebbled leather, especially in this brown color, which is like my go-to brown. 
So that is pretty much it. I really hope that you enjoyed this Christmas vlog and that you had a lot of fun spending Christmas with my family and with me. Everything will be linked in the description box down below. I want to say thank you so much for watching Be Lounge Makeup. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel before you go. And I will talk to you very, very soon. Bye.